says here, family in the old country have turned their house into a vampire-themed hotel. Well, it's, it's the perfect scam. They're getting an endless supply of breathers, and the corpses never complain. Thank you very much. Wait a minute. We could do that here. No, 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 no. We could turn the empty classrooms into bedrooms, each with their own en shriek bathroom. Oh, could I book into the honeymoon suite? I could wear something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue like the veins on my neck. Oh, fighty, fighty, fighty. Hmm? You'll be doing reception and room service and laundry, basically. You'll be doing everything. Yeah, that'll make a change. All those in favour of getting caught running an illegal breather-biting hotel and turned to dust, raise your right hand. Keeping this antique barn running's draining me dry. It's only fair I should do the same to others. Don't worry, Dad. When I'm head of the Vampire High Council, that'll be the first law that I change. And talking of pure fiction, perhaps you could try your hand at writing the brochure. I'll have you know that tonight I'll be attending the Council Networking Weekend. The first woman ever to be invited. Well, Somebody's got to pour the drinks. <laughs> What's that? Hmm. Why would someone who doesn't own a computer be carrying a memory stick? Oh, is that what that is? I found it in the street, thought it was pretty. Oh, so you don't mind that all the data's been lost now that it's been through the wash? Why would I care? Mm. Dad, hmm? I want to see Mum. Will you help me find her? Mm, well, I'd stay away from her. Shall we try and steal money off you like the last time? Not Magda, my human mum, Sally. The mother no one is supposed to know about ever. End of conversation. I know you said it could be dangerous for her to make contact, but I need to meet her. Forget about the danger to her. What about the danger to me? Do you know what the Vampire High Council will do if they find out I... If they find out I had a baby with a breather... Dad, no, it's... No, no, but seriously, do you know what they'll do? I know for a crime this big, it's execution, but by what method, hmm? Sunlight, garlic, steak? A steak made of garlic in the sunlight. She's my mum. I want to know where I came from. Right here. You're 99% me, minimum. So you're not going to help me find her? Oh, Vladdy. Forget about her, please. I'm, I'm sure she's forgotten about you. Where are you now, Sally Giles? Portraits of Aunt Blistleburst everywhere, and voila! One vampire themed hotel. Perhaps I should bite the guests as they uh, sign in. You know, that way we wouldn't even need the bedrooms. Oh, but you do get peckish in the middle of the night, Master. Good point, good point. Let's fill the place up and make it all inclusive with a 24 hour all you can eat buffet. Are you planning a special discount for Slayers? Because I predict. A block booking. No, 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 no. If we tell the breathers we're vampires, they book in and get bitten, then well, they've only got themselves to blame. People come to hotels to be pampered, not punctured. They get value for money. What else can you book in for a weekend and get immortality for free? Just can't help. Right. We have a hotel to build, and when I say we, I mean you. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, yes. I thought you'd like to know mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. I found Sally. What? 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 You know where she lives? No. But I'm getting closer. Until you are 18, you must do what I say. Now stay away from that woman! Look, 
gonna get me dusted, Vlad. I think you're going to do that all by yourself. Someone's been busy. What? It's just an old PC. There's enough tech here to launch World War III. I wouldn't know. I only use it for email. And researching members of the High Council. There's no harm in knowing who you're working with. Harm being the key word. Don't worry. I'll delete your search history when I'm finished. Back off! Nobody touches my gear. Does Dad know you've got this? Just be careful you don't download any viruses. Hmm. I thought you liked things that spread misery and destruction. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let the lying begin. Dear Sally, we are opening. Hotel Dufon, and would like you to come stay this weekend to discuss making a sculpture for us. Kind regards, Vladimir. You're supposed to be making the staircase look scary. Your face is already terrifying enough. Have a nice weekend. I know I will. I'll give your regards to Morgan and the rest of the council. Oh, yes. You can do that when you hand them their name badges. You're just like this place. Old school and in need of updating. Bye. <laughs> you know, maybe this hotel wasn't such a bad idea after all. Oh. Well, thank you for your ringing endorsement. What's changed your tune? No reason. Just want to help. Maybe I can manage the bookings. Splendid, splendid. Just be sure to charge extra for use of the health spa. Health spa? Yes, yes. They get a neck massage and free acupuncture. You know what this hallway could really do with? A sculpture. Oh. Vladimir, this is a hotel, not a gallery. The only works of art our guests will be admiring the bees. If you put a scary sculpture here, you'll get the guests' blood pumping before they retire to their rooms. Permanently. What an evil idea. Well done, Vladdy. Maybe some kind of uh, gargoyle. Or teeth and tongues and twisted features. I know just the sculptor we can hire. Do you want me to invite her over? Oh, yes, yes, by all means. Let's get started. And I know just the face she can model it on. Well, this better be worth it. I hate being awake in the middle of the day, and I'm famished. When are the first guests arriving? Any minute now. Do you think this room is scary enough? Oh, it's okay. I... Oh. <laughs> it's me. Mm. Take that as a yes. I don't know why you're going to all this trouble. I'm going to bite them before they have time to unpack. You can't. This room is for the sculptor I was telling you about. Well, She's staying for the weekend and we need her alive. But the whole weekend? I can't believe she said yes. Mm. She sounds desperate. It's probably the first offer of work she's had in months. Make sure she pays up front. I said she could stay for free. We are running a hotel, not a charity. I want blood and banknotes. Oh, please tell me the other rooms are full of paying victim. Oh, guests. Well, no one else is actually coming. No one. Uh... Vladimir, your fledgling career in hotel marketing is hanging by a thread, snippety snip. I've got a confession to make. You might want to sit down for this. No, I'll stand. I fight better on my feet. The sculptor is called Sally. Mm. 
this wouldn't be the Sally we agreed never to talk about. The Sally I gave strict instructions for you not to contact. The secret Sally no one must know is your breather mother or I'll be toast, Sally. I knew you were half breather. But I never thought your mum would be of a... Oh, hang on. If the cow's your dad and you're half breather, then of course your mum had to be a breather, didn't she? Oh, got it now, yeah. Oh, that's nice you found her, isn't it? You must be very excited indeed. <laughs> This feels like a family moment. Relax, Dad. I'm not going to tell her who I am. Do you want to spend a weekend with her? What harm can that do? A lot can happen in a weekend. You... Uh, happened in a weekend. Ingrid's away. No one will even know she was here. Look, you're playing with fire and it's me who's going to get burned. You're risking my life, and for what? For a chance to meet my mum. What if she sees me? It was 18 years ago at a goth festival in Whitby. She probably won't even recognise you. Please. No woman forgets this. Face. Ugh. She's probably still single and hoping one day I walk back into her life. And that'll be why she's booked in with George. George? He sounds very dull. He sounds like he stuck around for longer than a weekend and didn't secretly adopt the child they had together without telling her. Look, she didn't know you were a vampire. I was doing it for her own good. Oh, you're all heart. Yes, yes I am. And I wanted to stay that way, so cancel her visit. She's not stepping one foot inside this hotel. Too late. You must be Sally. Oh, Vladimir. Call me Vlad. I really love your vampire hotel. The energy here is perfect for one of my pieces. Oh, or have I got paint on my face? You know, I'm always doing that. Or getting bits of clay in my hair. It's an occupational hazard. No, it's okay. Um, we were hoping you could design something for us here, at the bottom of the stairs. Inspiring space. Now, it needs to be a work that really captures the decrepit beauty of the place. That smell of damp and decay is so authentic. Cheek. Shall I sign you in? Is George parking the car? <laughs> no, George can't drive yet. George sounds like an incompetent fool, but Sally, mm, uh, I forgot what a fox she is. This is my daughter, Georgina. Mum. Oh, except I'm not allowed to call her that. George. This is Vlad. It's nice to meet you, Georgina. I mean, George. Vlad! Great name. Very vampiric. What's your real name? Vlad. Oh, staying in character. I like it. Are you a vampire? Yes. Do you sleep in a coffin? Uh, yeah, yeah. Can I see your fangs? Yes, but then I would have to buy you. <laughs> oh, you're good, but I'm going to catch you out. No, see, breather, that's the last thing we need. They have to leave. Here's your room key. Ooh, I wish we were staying here for a week. By the time I'm finished, you'll be so scared you won't stay the night. What was that? That was, uh, Count Dracula. Yes, he, he, he moves very fast. <laughs> no, 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 seriously, I, I just felt something rush past me. It's is this place haunted? <laughs> Mum, they're just special effects. Air cannon mounted in the ceiling. Renfield will show you to your room. Oh. Please! Oh. Follow me! 